using the PNF technique, but we'll also be using, like we did the previous week, some longer developmental holds. We'll use the PNF stretching technique to bring us into a, a deeper place in regards to our stretches, and then we start creating that development once we find this area. Now, it'd be really handy if you have a strap or a belt because the first couple of exercises we're going to be using this um, for a hamstring stretch and also a quad stretch. And then we'll be moving away from the strap and just using our own body to find some deeper stretches. And we'll be using a few different movements and postures that we've been in before. And it's because I feel like these are the most effective stretches to get the most out of, of these sessions, pretty much. And they're very common places that, that people, have, people lack flexibility. So these are the areas that we really need to be focusing upon. All right, before we start, just warm up through the hips. When you take your hands behind you, feet about double shoulder width apart, and then drop the knees over from left to right. Make sure you've done the sun salutations before you start the class. Make sure you're nice and warm. We're working through hamstrings first of all with the strap. Come back up towards the top, place your right ankle up on top of your left knee. And just start to move that knee away from you very, very slowly. Moving back and forth. Drop down the right leg, other foot comes up on top, push it away. If you're struggling to get the foot on the knee, just extend the bottom leg slightly and that'll give you the room to go straight into this. Push away, move back up. That's it. Keep moving between those two. So as the feet come together, grab onto the ankles and just create this butterfly effect. Nice and easy. Nothing too strenuous to start with. Hopefully you've already opened up the hips. If you haven't done uh, some salutations, you are just not gonna get as much out of it. So it's about biting the bullet, knowing that you have to do them. Enjoy the sun salutation. If you know it very well, then it should become almost like a meditative, um, medita meditation in movement, which is pretty much what a, a lot of the, the yoga classes should be like once you start to really refine the, the postures. Now, come onto your back, you grab your strap, and you're gonna take the strap on your mid foot. We've done this before, but we haven't used the PNF stretching technique. I just want you to bring the toes towards your head and just pull back and forth a couple of times. And walk the hands up so you're in a, a really long arm grip. You're not having to pull in with your elbows out to the sides. You can just use the pretty much the weight of your, your arms and gravity to pull this foot towards you. And the way that we work the PNF stretching technique for this posture is by you're pulling the leg away from you. So you're pulling it that way because we're stretching off the hamstrings. So when the, the, when the strap's on the foot, you're pulling away with a straight leg once you find that position. But before you do that, you pull into a point where you feel that stretch, okay, not on a, not on a 100%, and then walk the hands up so you have the tension on, and then push the heel down towards the floor as you inhale. And as you exhale, release the stretch, pull in a little bit more. Five times here, inhale. Pull, 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 exhale, a little bit further up. I'm going to do two more times, so I'm going to hold in that place, inhale, pull away, pull down, you counteract in that force by pulling down with the hands, exhale, pull that foot over there, towards the head again, 
walk up the strap. I'm going with a couple of fingers this one next time round. Pull away. Go for the last one. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it in there. Now hold here. I'm going to be holding for around a minute to 90 seconds on either of these, on all of these stretches. Just keep pulling in. And you'll find you're not going to get as much range here, but you're trying to use the breath and create the right amount of, of uh, downward pressure on the foot and keep pulling out towards your head. Don't pull too hard. Don't have too little tension either. You have to find that right balance. And also, because you're in this this realm of being at full length of the muscle, you just have to be careful. Use the breath. Keep sending it in back and forth. You can actually do this with a partner, um, but you have to trust them and they need to know what they're doing as well. Two more breaths. One. One more. Release off from there. Give that leg a little bit of kick out. And go to the opposite side, so lower down, allowing the leg. Pull up from that point. Find the stretch, just pump it back and forwards a few times, get the body used to what's coming. And then walk the hands up wherever you need to. Make this comfortable for yourself as you can. For me, definitely tighter this side. So pull, push down with the push down with the heel towards the floor. Inhale, and three, two, one, pull in. Just a little bit. Pull down with the heel again. Imagine you're trying to bring it down towards this bottom foot. Exhale. Two, we'll do two more of these. You'll feel really intense, but then you'll start again to a better place. Inhale, slowly release. One more. Pull away, pull away, pull away. And you stay in this position. Again, for another minute. I've done this um, in the military. We um, did this a few times after doing our physical training sessions. We work in pairs and do this PNS stretching and basically what would be is someone would be directly in front of this say so look at me in this right leg here and they'd be pushing down my heel towards my head or my toes towards my head and I'd kick back against them and then they would release using that PNF style stretching keep pulling in we're moving to the total opposite side on this next stretch. Then I'll be moving in towards the quads after this. Keep pulling in, pull, pull, pull. Another 20 seconds or so. Now I can tell maybe if you rewind it back, have a look if my legs move. It's definitely moved in terms of uh, towards my, my head. Couple more breaths there. One, two, and then release off from that point. Pull in both knees and take a rock towards the top. Moving into our quad stretch now. For the quad stretch, you don't actually need to have the strap. If you can reach back and grab your foot, and have it is. Um, your feet and knee are about shoulder width apart. Try to lunge down into this. And you're trying to step, um, bring your hand back onto the heel. You can 
onto the angle, sorry. You can rest your right elbow onto your knee if you want to, but you're trying to keep a nice straight back. And make sure that you can you can sink down with the hips. Oh, look what I say. Sink down with the hips. And what you'll try and do is you'll try and kick away the foot in towards the hand in that action. And then as you release, you'll pull in the heel towards the bum. If you get your heel towards the bum and you can't go any further, then you drop through the hips instead. So find that position. And remember doing about a minute stretch after that once you find that full depth. So kick away. Inhale. Two, one, exhale, release. Kick away. Two, one, release, pull in, kick away. Remember, we'll do about four sets of these ones. Exhale, release. I'm dropping through my hips now. Inhale, kick. Exhale, release. And hold here. Keep sinking through the hips, but keep a nice straight spine. For one minute. These are really tough to stay and they don't feel particularly nice. Stay where you are. I'm just going to show you an alternative if you can't do that. Is if you can't reach back to the foot, you can use the strap, keep with it. I can go like that. Rather than reaching back. So say I don't, I've only got that much flexibility, I can just use the strap to pull in. Alright, another 20 seconds there. Stay with it. Sink through the hips even more, okay. Pulling, sink through. Three more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Release, slowly. From that position, give the leg a kick back. Bring the opposite leg forwards, use the strap if you need to again, grab the back foot, All right. kick into the hand once you've found that full range as you inhale, two, one, exhale, release off, kick away, inhale, exhale, release. one's really good as well. We're moving back towards pigeon. Everyone loves the pigeon. We're also moving into the lizard lunge as well. Maybe not the people's favourites and that's for a reason because most people are tight through those areas. Sing through the hips. Sing, sing, sing. Got this. Three more stretches after this. As you'll find over the course of these weeks is that you're probably finding more range of movement. And look forward to next week when we go into the testing period at the end. We can see what progression we've made. Just one more breath there. Release out and back onto all fours again. Big kick round. Now find, you did this the other day, so it should be quite familiar for you. You can come into 90-90 if you can't get into that. I mean, if you can get into this and that's no issue for you while spinning the foot down. And start to kick back this other leg into pigeon pose. Find that position there. 
And you're going to kick this foot into the floor again. So kick, kick, kick into the ground. Pin down this hand. And then exhale, release. Exactly the same technique. Push away, kick. Imagine you're trying to open the foot out into the floor. Moving it down. Release. Two. Kick away. We're doing four of these, remember? Kick, kick, kick. Inhale. When you do that, exhale. Release. One more kick. Exhale, release. One minute from here. Try and relax into it as much as you can. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. It's allowing yourself to relax into these stretches as much as you possibly can. If you tense up, the body tenses up, you don't move into the muscle. From, for me doing this program, I can feel myself progressing and getting deeper into these stretches as well. So thank you. <laughs> Create that 90 degree angle. If you want to go into the 90-90, go into the 90-90. Start to walk that foot back round. Square the hips over. Kick the foot into the floor. Three, two, one. Release. Kick away, four, three, two, one, down, kick away, two, inhale, do four of these, exhale, down again, this is a tighter side for me, kick away again, last one, exhale release, now I'm down to the ground, now I wasn't there at the start, on this left hip, See if I can make a little bit more lengthy just by letting myself fall down in towards the ground with the hips. The body starts to trust you. The next stretch that we move on to is like a straddle position, feet apart. Like one of the tests that we did at, at the start, which will help you to move into the adductors. You do it correctly. It just requires us to move our feet a little bit. It's different to this one. So just using gravity to send us down. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One, stick with it, keep on. Exhale. Oh, the stretch. Give both hips a little bit of room. Two more stretches to go. Two more. Come into the straddle position. So bring the feet apart as wide as you're able to. Hopefully, well for me, I can't get my feet as wide as the mat here. Um, and you can have two blocks at the front as well, if you want to. If you're finding that, because you want to have a little bit of, um, you want to have a little bit of support there. But you're pushing your bum towards the sky, and the basic um, movement for this with PNF is that I imagine that I'm pulling both of my feet towards each other. So this foot's trying to pull up this way. This one's trying to pull up this way. All right, and I'm pulling them in, squeezing in like a pair of scissors. And then, as I exhale, I try and just let my heels drop out a little bit further. 
All right, so find that position. I'm actually just going to stay on the blocks and just use that downward pressure. And it allows me to control and not go too deep into the stretch as well, actually. So I would advise people if you've got anything to raise yourself up in this position, then do that. So pull the feet in towards each other, pull, pull, pull. Inhale. Exhale, release. Feel the sleep, the, the feet slide out. Inhale. Exhale. You might not really get too much further, but you're getting there millimetre by millimetre. Make sure you're inhaling there, exhale, release again. Pull in again, last one. Exhale, release out. Now I want you to just stay in the stretch for a minute. Rather than letting the feet slide out, I want you to push the bum up towards the sky so you're not tucking underneath, you're pushing the bum upwards. And you're going to increase the stretch there. You should feel it very deep in towards the inner groin into the adductors. Big hip opener. Another minute here. I feel that that's really my full range of movement. I've got a lot better in regards to this stretching. You really need to think what is needed for me to do this. Like, I need to have that space through the hip to allow my legs to call it. So, you don't need to just be flexible through your reductors, you need to be flexible through the other areas in the hip and that's why it's important not to just stretch off one muscle is that they need to be balanced through the whole so if you are lengthening through one area you need to be lengthening through the others as well last three breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale Exhale. Walk the feet in. Heel and toe. Back up towards the top. Final stretch. Here's our lizard lunge. Put these blocks back in the place. So lizard lunge. We're going to do this lunge, not down onto our elbows like we've done before, but we're going to just be on our hands. So we're going to take the hands down in line with this front heel. And the way that we increase the stretch is by pushing this back foot outwards. But the way that we create the stretch through this PNF technique that we've been, has been the theme the whole way through this week is we're hooking this heel in towards the back knee, and we're pulling the back knee in towards the heel of the front foot, again like a pair of scissors. So find that position, find this length that you can get the leg back, you're keeping this front foot where it is, and you're kicking the leg back, pull them in towards each other, pull, 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 inhale, and keep the chest long, spine neutral, exhale, slide that leg back, kick in, for two, Exhale, kick back, kick in, exhale, back, one more, kick in, inhale, and exhale, sink back, and then just hold there, and I want you to sink through the hips, sink through the hips to this point. And you're not really moving the legs on this part. It's more that you're keeping a neutral spine, a little bit like we did on the last stretches. We weren't moving the legs further apart, but we were manipulating the body around the limbs. And that's what we're doing here. We're sinking down through the whole of the body into this gap that we created. Huge stretch through the back of the front thigh and also through the hip flexors on the, the back leg. Deep. 
moving down further towards the floor. Still 20 seconds left. Try not to let the, the foot drop out too much. Try and keep the big toe grounded into the floor. One more breath. Exhale. And then release. Lay the hands out. Come forward and it's a couple of times. Stretch it out and through. Last one, last one. Last stretch. Until the last hip um, stretch until the next week. Take the hands in line with the heel. Find that start position. Pull in the heel. Pull in the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Slide that foot back. Kick in with the front of the heel. Kick in with the back knee. Exhale. Spread it out. Keep this chest long. Kick in two more of those. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Another six to eight seconds. Exhale. Kick back. One more. That's it. Good stuff. Pull in. 80%, exhale, release. One minute here. Maybe get a better view of me dropping into this space using the weight of the hips and keeping my body nice and straight. If you can go a little bit lower and you, you feel like you're being restricted by straight arms, bend the elbows slightly and push the chest up still. So keep a nice straight spine. But you're just letting the body as a, a whole unit move towards the floor. Keep this big toe grounded on the floor. About halfway. Try to stay away from the grimace. Stick to this place of development. But not struggle. Okay. Three more breaths in here. So last one. One. Two. One more. Knees back and backwards and forwards of the hips. Sink back into your child's pose. Feel free to open the hips up a little bit more. Maybe doing one some salutation just to get everything flush through the system. At the end of that, I'll help you out. But there's both of our hip sessions done for this week. Great stuff.